I'm Aaron Sagers, I'm with Sci-Fi and Sci-Fi Wire. I'm excited to be here, I'm excited that you guys are here, and I want you to spread that excitement online using the hashtag, it's a fan thing, hashtag Sci-Fi25, and also hashtag Ask Alamo. So, we're in the woods. This is creepy AF, right? This is fun. Uh, and it's about to get a lot better, because I'm going to bring out the man himself. He is not only an actor, he's a director, he's a producer, he's a best-selling author, and you guys all have some great reading material. Give it up for the one, the only, the incomparable, Mr. Bruce Campbell! Could you do this? I think. <laughs> no one else gives this much of a shit about movies. <laughs> well, welcome back to Austin. I mean, you actually, you do have a history here. Oh yeah, I want a place here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I should say that, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah they love yeah, that. Yeah, okay. just throw it out there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what is the history that you've had with this town, though? Because you've come through here for a lot of road shows over the years. Austin gets it. Yeah! They like movies, they like music, they like food, they like booze. Presumably sex would go with that as well. Woo! My yeah. wife of 26 years, you know, doesn't need to hear that kind of talk <laughs> out of me. But it's always appreciated for some reason the arts way more. Most mm. capital cities suck. They do, they're shitholes. Most capital cities are shitholes. This one, I'm like, why is this place so cool? Um, it's, uh, it's people who, who still have a really a love and a joy of all kinds of different forms of art. Yeah. Especially, you know, really cool forms of art. Really, you know, uh, I don't know if you've, if you've really commented on this, and I want to kind of pin you down as far as... Do you view Evil Dead 2 as sequel or reboot? How do you how do you view it? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here's the truth of it. All three Evil Dead movies were made by three different companies. Nobody had the rights to any of the other movies. Does that make sense? No, 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 it doesn't make any sense at all. It's very, it makes things very confusing. We do Evil Dead. It makes a lot of money over a, a fairly long period of time. So we go, great, I know, we're going to make a movie with no blood in it. The Coen brothers wrote it. It's called Crime Wave. It's going to be a wonderful, fun adventure story which bombed horribly, went over budget, was recut by the studio, and never released. So this movie represents us crawling back uh, into the womb of, of healing and balm because we went, okay, Ash did not die at the end of Evil Dead. Nope, nope. Woo! We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. He's back. He got caught in a maelstrom and went from there. But because the second movie couldn't get the rights to the first movie, we showed Ash going back up to the cabin in flashbacks with other actors. So people thought Ash was stupid enough to go back to the cabin because he had so much fun the first weekend, you know. So, if you cut that out, and then if you cut out the, the retelling at the beginning of Army of Darkness, just get rid of that, and I'm sure there's a fan-edited version that someone could send me the link in about three seconds. Get rid of all that. It would actually play really well all together, yeah. cut, cut together. So that's why the beginning of this is so uh, convoluted. <laughs> and that's why a lot of people think, oh, they just want to try and try and do it better this time. Like, let's just yeah. get different actors and tell the same story. So no, no. If you're confused, uh, we failed as <laughs> storytellers and filmmakers. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Well, if that version of the movie doesn't exist, I'm sure someone is like editing it together right now on their yeah. phone. Yeah. But, 
But it's kind of a good thing in a way that Crime Wave bombed because Evil Dead, the Evil Dead was sort of proto-Ash, right? It was, it was not really the Ash that we know. That's right. <laughs> First Evil Dead, Ash is sort of a wimpy victim, like everybody else in the movie. <laughs> Evil Dead 2, he's like a, a war vet a little bit. He's been through it. And he now builds shit that can kill demons. So he's a little more focused. He uses his first groovy catchphrase is in this movie. And by the by, Sam Raimi wanted to have Ash say something so out of it that it was cool. In 1986, when we shot this movie 31 years ago, Groovy was as uncool as you, it was Ronald Reagan was president. You didn't say Groovy, he was outlawed during the 80s. So he, Ash says Groovy. Now Groovy is like groovy. back-ish. You know, whatever. And now it's more prevalent. So in a way, you made Groovy cool again, single-handedly. Let's, let's go with that. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's go with that. <laughs> well, we're going to throw it, to throw it to some audience questions in a second, but I do want to ask, just like now that we have Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 available on Blu-ray DVD, Season 3 on the way, uh, which kind of legacy, which version of Ash do you think is going to last the longest now? Do you think it's Evil Dead 2 Ash? Is it the Evil Dead? Is it Army of Darkness Ash or Ash vs. Evil Dead? Just buy all the shit. Just buy all the shit. They all have different value. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, thankfully, 31 years later, people still are interested enough to go into the boonies and watch this ridiculous movie. So that's all you can hope for. Yeah. Is it a generation from now? You know, I met, I've met younger kids named Ash now. Yeah, and the kids are not happy about that either. <laughs> a guy came up at a book signing. He shoves my book down. He goes, sign my book. I'm like, okay, okay. We'll, yeah. we'll get there. How's your day he going? Fine. What's your name? Ash. I was like, it is not. No, it isn't. He goes, yeah, it is. My parents named me after your stupid movies. <laughs> it was a cathartic moment for him. <laughs> the little shit. You should get some sort of royalty check out of that. Like... Some yeah. sort of cut out of that. Yeah. Yeah, don't bring more of that up. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, we all got ripped off on all that yes, merchandising right, bullshit. Our pants. Yes. yes. <laughs> why are you dressed as Ash tonight? Why not? Why not? Yeah, what? Right, so How about why? <laughs> all right, now, sir, when you walk down the street, do people know who you are? That's right, absolutely not. I like that. And that's how we like it, sir. We don't want these movies to get too popular. Yeah. Because if people knew who you were, they would go through your trash, and you would get stalked and possibly killed. If you can't love them, no one can. What? No, what's the... Sorry. Do you, sorry, do you have a question? <laughs> My favorite part about filming the second season of the show. We finished the third season of the show. You haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it either. Oh, it's not out yet. Oh, when's it out? Yeah, stars, when's it out? Oh, we don't know, we're waiting. Maybe February, season three. They're, ju they're juggling some stuff, and then we'll see, sir. So I'll, I'll answer that question a year and a half from now yes what kind of music does Bruce Campbell listen to uh, I got a brand new uh, head set of headphones in the early 70s that you could inflate mm. and it inflated a little thing around there and it was stereo and you could tell it was stereo when the thing went it went red a red dot appeared and I heard the carpenters it was the most beautiful sounding music I'd ever heard in my life so, yeah, the Carpenters. Yeah. There, there you go. I don't care what her personal struggles were. She's beautiful. Uh, James Taylor. What the hell's wrong with that? That was my art class. 
Art class, 1971, you old geezers. Anybody out there? James Taylor. I just don't like music that hurts my ears or makes me want to go kill people. That's what I do for a living. Yes, yes, sir, yes. <laughs> what is the grooviest injury that you ever sustained while the filming? grooviest injury? That you ever sustained Injuries while... Injuries are not groovy, sir. <laughs> okay, what's... <laughs> No. What, what's the coolest injury you've the ever? The coolest injury. They're not injuries. Are not cool either, sir. All right. What's the worst injury? What's the worst injury? <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever pulled a hamstring? Uh, no, I haven't. Not the full schmeal. No. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> that was during the filming. During the filming of uh, of any of notice. Oh, okay. Kicking a stunt guy in the face. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. It went and I just went down. <laughs> and the director goes, "Should we cut?" <laughs> I said, yeah, you should get a van because I'm going to the hospital because I can't walk. It's a great injury. It's so cool. <laughs> You've actually got a Bulgarian stuntman now, right? Like on uh, yes. Astro's Evil Dead? Raisho Vizilev. He was the stunt coordinator on Man with the Screaming Brain. I met him in Sofia, Bulgaria. We did a movie together and I thought, well, I'll never see this guy again for the rest of my life. Now he's my stunt double on Ash vs. Evil Dead. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. That boy, that landed, didn't it? Yeah. That one nice, really, nice, nice really nice killed him. Right there. Yes, right over here. Would Bruce Campbell be friends with Ash? Uh, if he wanted to get arrested, yeah, yeah. That's why I love Ash vs. Evil Dead. For those of you who refuse to get stars <laughs> for no good fucking reason <laughs> download the free app 30 day free trial binge watch Ash vs. Evil Dead on a Saturday delete the app what is wrong with you people? <laughs> by the way sir modern man of the media Yes. this is why shows get cancelled Oh, I'll get to Ash vs. Evil Dead. Oh, oh, I don't know. Put your ball down, go upstairs, help your mother make breakfast, and download the fucking show. It's that simple. Come on. It's not rocket science. Yeah. No, sorry, but I digress for a moment. I didn't mean to rant on your question. It was very well meaning. Yeah, someone deeper than the first row. Yes, right there. Is it true that I'm a what? Certified to marry people. Oh, I'm certified to marry people. Yeah, minister. Ordained. Yeah. I'm an ordained minister. Yes, I am. Ow! Yes, I was. Uh, a couple wanted me to marry them at the first annual Seattle Zombie Con, <laughs> and they wanted it. They wanted it to be real, yeah. not a hoax. So they said, "Would you be willing to be ordained?" And marry us. So you, I went to the eternal www.eternal light of happiness and being church, and for thirty bucks got my ordained minister thing because they it was real, signed by the county guys. And I went to marry them, and the the groom was a zombie. The bride was a, a zombie bride who was pregnant with a demon baby bursting out of her belly. <laughs> and I thought, how, how disrespectful. The institution of marriage, and this is, how, this is what's happening here? No, 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 but then I looked at the rest of their family. The groom's father couldn't even sit down during the ceremony, because he had a fake wooden spike that went into him on one end and came out the other. He came as a mortally wounded man. I'm like, oh, okay, the, the whole family is fucked up. That's <laughs> So yeah, they're still married, I believe, ma'am. Excellent, insightful question. Are you up for hire? Am I up for hire? Yeah. For what? To uh, do it again. To do to do it. Am I up for hire to do it? <laughs> well, yeah, you're looking you're looking like doable. Yeah. That's awesome. There's some some fine ass women in this city. I'm not gonna lie to you. Seriously, everyone goes, oh, Dallas chicks. Ah, no, they're too fucking uptight in Dallas. In this town, they'll do it. <laughs> in the middle of the woods, there's plenty of trailers out there. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Right here. We'll do, then we'll do like maybe a couple more and then we'll get on to the show. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. So what was more fun to play? Good 
Good well, it's more ash. fun to play. Good ash or evil ash? Good ash or evil ash? Evil ash minus the makeup. Because <laughs> the evil guys, you know, those are the fun characters to play. They have all the best dialogue. You don't have to be likable. Uh, I did a, a very amazing movie called Assault on Dome 4. Yeah. Sci-fi has probably aired it a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> they said, do you want to play the good guy? So I go, well, let me read it. And the good guy was this. Here's, here's the good guy's dialogue. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Get down. And my favorite. Now! And the bad guy had these rambling, beautiful speeches. I went, fuck that, I'll play the bad guy. And they went, okay. And so the part went to Joe Culp, Robert Culp's son. And I got to watch this poor bastard suffer through his shitty dialogue for the whole movie. He'd go, come on! Is there something else I can say here? I'm like, yeah, you work it out, pal. I gotta go learn my speech around the corner here. <laughs> so you go, you go, sometimes the bad guys are the most colorful. Good guys can be really boring. That's why Ash, the new Ash, I really like, because the season two, he was mourning a friend and he was doing angel dust. He was smoking angel dust and washing it down with cheap bourbon. So, I mean, that's my kind of a hero. Right? Come on. He's grieving. Where's the angel dust? <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll do two more amazing questions and then we'll get to the movie. Yes, yes, waving. What's that? Where can you buy my lavender stuff? I bought some property and we have about a, a couple acres of lavender. Right. right. Okay? Ooh. And it kind of smells good. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I didn't really. Lavender, whatever. <laughs> Steven Seagal, some of you may have heard of Steven Seagal, had a ranch and he had a still. So the first year we cut our lavender, we distilled it on Steven Seagal's ranch. So he's, he's a tough guy too. <laughs> with his lavender and his essential oils. <laughs> so no, you can't buy, you can't buy our stuff. <laughs> I'm not being a D-bag, it's just, it's just true. It's not enough. Get out of here. Wait, wait, was there a trade between you and Seagal, between lavender and oils? Did you guys have an agreement? Woo! We exchanged oils, I guess you could say. I think we just did, yeah. yeah or fluids. Yeah, we exchanged fluids. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, right here. What work of mine has not gotten enough love? All of it, I like that. No, it's good. I, I make enough money to make a good living, but not enough so that people are going through my garbage. Or taking like nudie telephoto pictures of my wang hanging out. Because you, you need a wide angle lens for that. Oh. Yeah, we should end with that right there. That's a high Ladies and gentlemen, uh, fun facts. Uh, this movie was shot in 1986 in Wadesboro, North Carolina. Uh, it was in profit before we made the movie, because we pre-sold it based on how well Evil Dead did. See if it makes sense to you if you forget the first couple of minutes of the movie and just...